Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. Today in application of partial differentiation part 1, we will talk about applied optimization problems. Example 1. A firm produces two items x1 and x2. The market prices are given by p1 equals to 100 minus 2x1 and p2 equals to 125 minus 3x2. The cost of production is C equals to 12x1 plus 11x2 plus 4x1 x2 for producing x1 and x2 items. Find how many items of each should be produced to have joint profit maximum. The profit function of the firm is P equals to R1 plus R2 minus C. R1 is P1 X1 and R2 is P2 X2. Replace P1 by 100 minus 2 X1 and P2 by 125 minus 3 X2 and C by 12 X1 plus 11 X2 plus 4 X1 X2. After simplification, we will get profit equals to 88 X1 plus 114 X2 minus 2 X1 square minus 3 X2 square minus 4 X1 X2. Partial derivative respect to X1, 88 minus 4 X1 minus 4 X2 and the partial derivative respect to X2 is 114 minus 6 X2 minus 4 X1. Put partial derivative, first partial derivative equal to 0 to find critical point. So 88 minus 4x1 minus 4x2 equal to 0 and 114 minus 4x1 minus 6x2 equal to 0 and after simplification we will get x1 plus x2 equals to 22 and 2x1 plus 3x2 equals to 57 and after solving this two equation we will get x1 equals to 9 and x2 equals to 13. So critical point is 9 comma 13. And double derivative respect to x1 is minus 4. And double derivative first respect to x2 with then respect to x1 is minus 4. And double derivative respect to x2 is minus 6. At 9 comma 13, we calculate a, b and c by putting 9 comma 13 in the double derivative and we will get minus 4, minus 4 and minus 6. Thus, AC minus B square equals to minus 4 multiplied by minus 6 minus minus 4 whole square which equals to A which is positive and A is negative. So, maximum profit at X1 equals to 9 and X2 equals to 13. If we also want to calculate respective prices, then we put X1 and X2 in demand function. P1 equals to 100 minus twice of 9 which equals to 82 and P2 equals to 125 minus thrice of 13 which equals to 86. So we can say that profit is maximum when X1 is 9, X2 is 13 and the P1 is 82 and the P2 is 86. Next example, a firm sells two products X1 and X2. Their joint demands functions are x1 equals to 175 minus 4p1 minus p2 and x2 equals to 90 minus 2p1 minus 3p2 where x1 and x2 are the units demanded of two products when their market prices rupees p1 and rupees p2 per unit respectively. Find the prices should be charged to maximize total revenue of two products. Also find maximum revenue. The revenue function of the firm is R equals to R1 plus R2. R1 is P1 X1 and R2 is P2 X2. Replace X1 and X2. X1 is 175 minus 4 P1 minus P2 and X2 is 90 minus 2 P1 minus 3 P2. After simplification, we will get revenue function equals to 175 P1 plus 4 
plus 9p p2 minus 4p1 square minus 3p2 square minus 3p1 p2. First derivative respect to p1 is 175 minus 8p1 minus 3p2 and first derivative respect to p2 is 90 minus 6p2 minus 3p1. Put first derivative respect to p1 and p2 equal to 0 to find critical point. So 175 minus 8p1 minus 3p2 equal to 0 and 90 minus 3p1 minus 6p2 equal to 0. After simplification and after solving these two equations, we will get p1 equals to 20 and p2 equals to 5. So critical point is 20,5. Now we calculate double derivative respect to p1 which is minus 8 double derivative respect to p1 and p2 which is equals to minus 3 and the double derivative respect to p2 which equals to minus 6. At 20,5 we'll calculate the value of a, b and c respectively by putting this 20,5 in second derivative and we'll get a minus 8, b minus 3 and c minus 6. Thus ac minus b square equals to minus 8 into minus 6 minus minus 3 whole square which equals to 39 which is positive and a is negative. So maximum revenue at p1 equals to 20 and p2 equals to 5 and the corresponding value of x1 is 90 and x2 is 35 and maximum revenue r equals to r1 plus r2 where r1 is 20 into 90 and r2 is 5 into 35 and total revenue we can say is 1975.